We will continue its deliberations tomorrow to decide if a convicted killer from Oak Ridge should be put to death for his crime. That same jury convicted Sean Finnegan on Monday on almost a dozen charges, including first degree murder. A warning, the details of the murder of Jennifer Paxton are graphic and disturbing. Finnegan kidnapped, tortured and killed that woman from Knoxville and then kept her body in a freezer for eight months. 10 News reporter Ellis Rold is joining us now from the Anderson County Courthouse. And Ellis, you've been following this trial for days now and the jury is going home for the night. Hi, John and Brittany. Yes, so this jury deliberated for about three hours today. They're trying to decide whether or not Finnegan will be sentenced to the death penalty or life in prison without the possibility of parole. Those are their two options. Now, today, the state and the defense presented evidence to the jury to try to sway them one way or the other, but the defense maintains that they tried to appeal to the jurors' humanity, really, today. That was what they were trying to do. They say that Finnegan had a traumatic childhood filled with physical and sexual abuse. Now, they say he will already spend the rest of his life in prison. He's 56 years old. The defense said even after a traumatic childhood, Finnegan took care of his sick and elderly mother. Despite all this brutality and carnage and disrespect of another human being, um, that somewhere, somehow, Sean Finnegan does have love in his heart and he took care of his mom. And your baby. But the state maintains the gruesome nature of this case warrants the ultimate punishment and deliberations are set to continue tomorrow morning here in Clinton. That jury will have to decide if Finnegan will be in prison for the rest of his life or if he will be sentenced to death. We'll be here in Clinton tomorrow to keep you guys updated. John Brittany. Ellis rolled on the update from Anderson County tonight.